DMs are in need of a DM, so it could be a solid option for them. And completing group A, we have Georgia, where I've picked. Now, this is where I'm going to absolutely butcher his name. Um, Hiroi Chichavila. Chichavila. Hiroi Chichavila. I'll probably just like put his name screen or something but anyway Georgia were the one of our host nations actually of this tournament and I think they shocked a couple people as they actually toppled this group with Portugal, Netherlands and Belgium in there and reached the quarterfinals. Now one of the main reasons was because of this guy. He got two assists and a goal in four games which is a very impressive feat. So, he's a winger who plays for Dynamo Kiev in Ukraine and is age 22, but due to the war he was sent to Poland with Lech Poznan, where he's done decent. Now, he's by no means a star, but I've included him in as he's had a fantastic Euros and we know how players can get big moves based on good tournaments, so maybe this could kickstart his career. Another potential gem of a midfielder produced by Croatia, Martin Baderuna looks likely to have a long career at the top of the game when he eventually leaves Zagreb. So Baderuna, as I said, plays for Dynamo Zagreb in Croatia and he is a 20 year old midfielder. He is a very, very dynamic player and he's very comfortable playing either as a number 10 or playing He's super creative as well, registering 13 assists last season, and that has naturally attracted huge interest. Unfortunately, he couldn't showcase his talents at the tournament as Croatia were pull out in the groups, and to be fair, they'll put in a tough group, but still, Padrona is clearly going to get a big move soon. Romania. And I have picked Mia Popper. Mia Popper. Now, this is one which has already got a move, but still, there wasn't really anybody else to choose, so I kind of had to go for it by default. So, Romania, the hosts, along with Georgia, were pretty easily bumped out of the groups with just one point. But Popper did keep a clean sheet. So, Popper is a goalkeeper who is 22 years old was playing last year in Romania. He actually kept 13 clean sheets, which was the most in the league. And this earned him a move this summer to Serie A side Torino. So I'm not sure if he'll come in as the starting goalie, but either way, that's a promising sign. And you know, he's not going to move again this year, but maybe in a few years, this is somebody you might hear of more. Next in the group were Ukraine. Ukraine side has shocked a lot of people and it seems to be maybe somewhat of a golden generation as they've managed to go unbeaten in their groups and then knocked out the favourites for the tournament France and are in the semi-finals as of recording. Could even win the whole thing, I'm not sure. You guys will probably know by the time you see this. Now one of their stars of the campaign has been Sudikov. So Sudikov is a 20-year-old winger for Shakhtar Donetsk and he's really exploded onto the scene this tournament. As of recording, he's currently the top scorer with three goals, including a brace in the quarterfinals to knock out France. As for his club career, I mean he's done decent. He's got five goals and seven assists last season, which is pretty good for someone of his age. And he is now attracting some big interest due to his performance at the Euros. I think it will likely will get moved based on his performances. And he is looking like a very promising player. Spain were the next team, the last team in Group B. And I've gone for Juan Miranda. Juan Miranda. So the defending champions are looking strong. Currently in the semi-finals as of recording, we'll see if they reach the 
most surprising stars of this team has been the left back Juan Miranda. So Miranda is a 23 year old left back, a Barcelona Academy product, currently playing for Real Betis in La Liga. Now after the departure of Alex Moreno to Aston Villa, he's become a key player at left back and is a very attacking fullback. He got three goals and two assists from left back last season, helping Betis finish in the Europa League spots. He's also managed
He's one of the youngest players at this tournament at just 18 years old, but he's already got a lot of experience. Um, now, my book was voted in 2022 for best German under 17 year old and is a product of the Bundesliga side Mainz's Academy and is a striker. So, last season, at just 18 years old, he broke into the Mainz first team. He made nine appearances and scored two goals already, which at that age is very impressive. He didn't do much at these Euros, like the whole Germany side, but still I think next season could be a bit of a breakout year for Viper, as I expect we'll get more game time and start to pop up on the radar of some of the biggest clubs in Europe fairly soon. Group D, we have France. France, where I've been Size his name. Now, this was a hugely disappointing campaign for France, who were considered major favourites due to the amount of talent in their squad, but they were knocked out in the semis to Ukraine. Now, as I said, there's so many talented players in this France side. I could have gone for a lot of players, but I've gone for Eddie White, age 20, a striker playing for Montpellier. So last season was one of real progress for him. After showing promise the year before with 10 league and goals, last season he exploded and went on to score 19 times, which is a total. Only Olivier Giroud has bettered in a single season for the club since the 1980s. And why he is definitely one of the most exciting young strikers in Europe. Unfortunately, he never did much at the Euros, but still, why he at age 20 is linked to some big clubs now. I personally think he probably sh should have moved this summer, but it wouldn't surprise me if he moved with a lot of clubs wanting a striker and he could potentially become a world-class world guy in the future. Switzerland, we've got Fabian Ryder. Fabian Ryder. Fabian Reader, somebody who has been linked heavily away this summer and has probably attracted more interest based on his performances at these heroes. Ryder is a midfielder aged 21 playing for Swiss side Young Boys. Now he helped this Swiss side knock out Italy in the groups and almost Spain in the quarters, taking them to extra time. And he, he got two assists from midfield this tournament. Now, Rida has been highly rated for years and has been a regular starter in the young boy side since he was 18. In fact, some of you might remember him as he played in all six of young boys Champions League group stages in the 21 22 season, including scoring his first goal in a 1 1 draw with Man United. He's made over 25 appearances for three seasons now and played in the Champions League as I said. He's also made four counts for the senior Switzerland side so he's extremely experienced and rightfully so as he's so so talented. He's linked with a move heavily to Celtic now but to be honest I think he could aim a little bit higher because he seems like a really really promising Next is Italy, and we've got Samuel Reggie. Now, this was a disappointing campaign for the side that was very, very talented, to be fair, as they were knocked out in the groups. One of the players part of the team was Samuel Reggie, who could get a big move soon with many clubs interested. So, Reggie is a 21 year old playing for Torino in Serie A and played all three group games for Italy and the Heroes, which kind of says it all, considering in the midfield they have the likes of Sandro Donali, they have Juventus players Fabio Moretti and Nicola Rovella, and Roma player Nicola Bove. And so, considering he's starting in that midfield, that's pretty impressive. And at the age of just 18, Ricky became a starter, playing 30 games a season for Empoli. When he started his career last year, he was bought by Torino, where he's continued to thrive as a regular start starter. Now, similar to Fabian Rida, at his age, he's so experienced. He's just 21, but already made 120 senior appearances, and most of them in the top flight of Italy, showing he's a serious player. He's also got two counts for the senior side, and I think very. 
very soon he will get the move and become a big, big player in the midfield for Italy. And finally, the last team is Norway. I've picked Tobias Fjeld Gorgensen.